And welcome back. This is Valor Skibble with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Southwest up against Long Runner. He's like a marathon guy. Uh, he is a Red Zerg in the Northeast. I wish him good luck, have fun, and nothing. Uh, the map is Shakura's Plateau. Um, that's, I'm sticking with that pronunciation. And I don't believe I've ever faced a Zerg player on there. Oh, there we go. Answer right as my message disappeared. He says, yes, sir. I tell him, good luck, have fun. He says, yes, sir. Um, just just a suggestion, not an order. Um, if it was an order, it would have been something like, um, lose the game, please. Not much of an order at that either. Uh, this is a, a map that I hear is great for Zerg, which is probably why I have so much trouble with Zerg players on it. Uh, this, of course, would be the best outcome in terms of spawning positions for the Zerg player. He can get the expansion here almost immediately there without fear of harassment because it is such a long distance between our two bases. Um, neither one of us know where the other one has been uh, spawned, though. But I am the first. No, it doesn't look like I am going to look for him. I have actually, um, trying to think back of, of what I was thinking during this game, I had just lost uh, two um, two games to Zerg players because of uh, early Zergling run-bys, so I am uh, scared to death of that right now, and I am going to block off as soon as possible. So I have absolutely no chance of stopping this hatchery. Not that I could. Even if I knew where he was and ran there right after the supply depot, I probably still couldn't have gotten there in time. But spawning pool immediately going down afterwards. He is playing defensive. It does look like, even though he did go for the hatch. And he goes straight for my base. It looks like he didn't go down to the southeast or anything else first. Just straight into my base. He's not going to see much there, not yet. Uh, Marine is on the way. Um, looks like he had it hot keyed, uh, sh or at least shift keyed, so that he could go to the next one. Um, but once he found out, oh wait, he is here. He goes and sees what he can find. He's not going to find much, but he is going to find gas, and he wants to take it immediately. Um, oh, God, I hate that extractor trick. Mostly because it's just uh, annoying. It's not like... How do I put it? It's, it's not going to screw me up all that much. It did stop my supply depots. That... It's, but that's minor on a map like this. What really annoys me is that I have to hear this gunshot over and over all the time. So let's look what's going on here. He is 21 out of 20. So he actually used that as an extractor trick. He used my extractor for the extractor trick. That was crazy. Uh, he did end up stop building it and then moved it over and then uh, lost control of the drone while he was... Uh, doing the extractor trick and uh, that drone did die but I wanted to double check uh, because I didn't actually see it either when I played the game so I moved my marine down here uh, but of course that drone did die here I do complete the block off I know it doesn't look like it but that is indeed a block off um, the supply depots of course not the best uh, at blocking off it would have been much better if I got let's say a barracks and a bunker or something like that in case of banelings and uh, knowing uh, Zerg players on this map, Banelings are sure to come. Spine crawlers on the way. Along um, three of them in, in a great position. I will be honest with you, that is a perfect position for those guys. Um, I, I could still arguably do a run by right there, but it, these spine crawlers are going to do so much damage to Marines that it's really not worth it. Uh, I, I would have to engage those. Even a Hellion could not get past those, I don't think. Uh, yeah, 25 damage, um, even though they do attack so, fl so slowly. Um, without an upgrade, two of these could take out one of my Marines. 45. Um... I am getting stim pack and Mar and Marauder's concussion shells. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but I'm too late to read it. Sorry, guys. Uh, from what I understand, it's, it's got some crazy explanation about um, like 
black holes or you know singularities or something like that i just always assumed it's a slow grenade you know i don't know some kind of poisonous gas or something and baneling nest is on the way there it pops out with the spider webs on the legs never really understood that but i guess i'm not supposed to i do have quite a bit of an army here and if I went out and attacked, I, I could do some massive amounts of damage to him, even though he's got those three spine crawlers up. But with a map this big, I never seem to want to go for an early push because I assume that whatever I can build, even if he did not have it by the time I sh sent them, he would have it by the time I got there. But if, that, of course, is not the case as all his zerglings are down here except for two. Uh, just one looks like went to the Zalnaga Tower. The other one is now going to the other one. Uh, these rocks do take a long time to go down, not because they have a higher HP or anything like that, but because it only looks like how many is that? That is seven Zerglings can take can can attack the rocks at once. So these do take a long time. And this is a very sneaky strategy, going through the back door. And here, I send one Marine, uh, looks, and two, so it looks like I am going for the Zalnaga Towers as well, uh, raising those supply depots, because of course I am still scared, but I've got a huge lead here, and I need to um, take advantage of that while I still can, but of course that I do not do. Two test circling coming out, that is only 50 minerals, and it gets some valuable information. And what is that information? That I've got a big army. And as a result, he is getting massive amounts of Zerglings. Along with Aspire, so he is going once again for that Zergling uh, Mutalisk build that is so good. Centrifugal Hook's just finishing now, so we should be seeing Banelings as well. Mutas and Banelings, possibly some Zerglings. I do have a Marine down here, um, because I don't trust this Engineering Bay to tell me everything I need to know. Plus, I want to attack, because uh, I still don't know where he is. I actually haven't done that scouting. I was able to take out two ki two Zerglings with that Marine. Um, that's, but really... the. the the game was pretty much over when I didn't get these guys out, really. Um, I needed to push so much sooner. Um, looking at the army count now, look at that. He took the lead. That is the beauty of Zerg players. They can get their army so incredibly fast. Um, it, well, it always seems like so fast. I know that it takes timing and all that kind of stuff. You have to understand from a Zerg player, or from a Terran player's point of view, I can only produce a maximum of, you know, two Marines out of one facility. If all of a sudden you come up with 22, that was just mind-boggling to me. I'm like, so he, he's got to be up here, otherwise he would never think of that strategy. And, oh, completely out of position here. Not doing any micro to, t to get away from those Banelings, and um, completely decimated. Look at that. I'm down to just two Marauders. Wasted Banelings there, though. Even two drones trying to get on the in, in on the action. They, of course, don't have any kills, though. I do have an army back at my base. Um, but really, Micro would have helped so much there. What I wanted to do was uh, throw down a stim pack, run away, uh, stop, run away, stop, run away, stop. Try to get some damage done on those... Banelings before they did damage to me. 